Hi guys and welcome to InPlayTrading.com. In this video we're going to show you an overview of the brilliant and unique InPlay scanner that uh, a lot of people are using. It's very popular. It saves plenty of time from scouring the other um, bookmakers, websites, etc. for InPlay stats. And uh, we're just going to go through a few of the features, how to set it up, how to get the best out of the tool itself. So from the top, we just um, we'll just have a little sort of look all the way down. This is uh, Sunday lunchtime. Current games that we have. So on the top right hand side, we have a schedule of the games that we cover. We cover a good 85 to 90 percent of the Betfair in play football coupon, which is uh, more than anyone else that we know of. We have the liquidity, you can see here, liquidity on the uh, Betfair match odds, um, the 2.5 market, unders and overs, and we cover the other under overs and the correct score uh, markets. We have a sort option, we can sort by the date, the score, events, um, matched amounts, um, we can sort by shots on target, shots on target, corners, etc, etc. Very useful indeed for some people who prefer to uh, actually trade that way. If we move back over to this side of the screen, we have the particular markets and countries the games are coming from. And... We have the Betfair graphs. We have kickoff prices underneath. You can see you here. And if you are logged into your Betfair account, then you can go straight to one of these prices, which will save time. You don't have to go onto another browser tab, um, um, get into your Betfair account and place the bet. How often do we try and do that? Uh, suspended, we've missed the trade, bang, money lost. So this save you time, save you effort, and um, it's it's a really good sort of feature. If we move back over here, we have um, we have sound options. Uh, how does this work? Basically, we have a high pressure index alert. We'll come to that more in a bit. Basically, when you highlight a game then they go to the top of the screen. So we're just going to highlight a couple of games, just, um, just like that. And when we click the light bulb, then the ones we're interested in will go to the top of the screen. Now also, when something happens in any of these games, um, when there's a goal, when there's a shot on target, when there's a penalty, when there's a red card, um, full-time, half-time whistles, then we're going to hear audio alerts. We will hear sounds telling us that something has happened in that particular game. So it's, um, let's unhighlight that. We don't want the sounds going off in the middle of the video. We have, as we just pointed out, all of the stats here. Um, we've got them all on the one page. We have the list of games. We can instantly look down. Um, and find out exactly what's going on. West Ham under 23s, we can see um, they've had two shots on target. We've even got the minutes, first and seventh minute. That's when they had their shots on target. Um, in the fifth minute, they've had a free kick. And we have the red cards, yellow cards, um, dangerous attacks, uh, the possession. Um, filter stat and a couple of very um, useful pressure indexes you can just read here when you hover the mouse and pressure index one and when these hover um, when you hover over these they'll uh, you get a little description up but when they flash in either blue for pressure index two or red for pressure index one 
then we feel that is uh, that is high enough. There's plenty of action going on, and um, there's every likelihood that, that a goal or two is going to come in the game. So that's uh, that's well worth um, keeping an eye on. Uh, we have the time on the stats, as I pointed out. We have a breakdown at each game, so we can see when there's been a goal, when there's been a corner, um, such and such. It's just come down to a game that's in the second half, so we can see there the action, what's happened. We have um, links to head-to-heads, uh, -head recent matches, so you can go straight to an external site to see um, past details, what's happened. And uh, as I say, you can highlight the games. You can hit the X, that will delete a game. If you don't want that particular game on the screen, you can do that. And let's see if we have, um, typically we don't have a game at the moment, but over two and a half, when one of these is highlighted in blue, it reflects that one or both of the sides have a higher scoring rate in the second half than the first half. So all you do is hover the mouse over the over 2.5 when it's blue, and it will tell you the percentage of um, goals that happen in the second half over the first half. So again, that's a very useful uh, feature to have. So um, we can search for uh, minimum shots on target, maximum shots on target. I'll show you a little bit more of this down below. This is the long list of games. So this covers everything. On a Saturday afternoon it's very busy and what I personally tend to do, I have a minimum uh, matched liquidity on the match odds of three thousand um, pounds i then any changes that are made saved so that takes out a lot of the rubbish that um, you know i don't need i don't trade i'm not interested in on a saturday uh, afternoon when potentially we could have 120 140 games on the scanner so um, that's just a little tip sunday today not so busy so just take that back out um, and there we go, we're back to the long list of games. So this is the long list of games. You can set up your own particular strategy. How do you do that? You, all you do is you add a strategy here, and then you put in the details. Uh, make sure you put a, a name in for your strat. You have some sort of uh, feature here. Um, you can uh, affect the time to full time you can do that do that there and you just heard a little bell because I've uh, not got that switched off this bell occurs when new games come on to the scanner so you can do that you can do all sorts of things basically if you don't want it just delete strategy always save your changes as I've done here this is just particularly one that, that I've got set up. I've got the match odds, the draw, a maximum price of 2.2. I'm looking between 55 minutes and 70 minutes. Minimum match odds of 3,000 pounds. Minimum four shots on target, four shots off target. The scores have to be nil nils. And the games will appear here when they come up. And I also have ticked the subscribe to email alerts. So any games that come into that particular sort of um, um, come under that sort of um, uh, what I'm looking for, I will get an email alert. I'll then have a quick look at it and I'll either jump on or I won't jump on. Simple as that. So you can do that as many strats as you want. Uh, as long as you've named them and you have the price filter set, you know, it could be match odds, home, um, uh, minimum 1.01 or maximum a thousand just make sure you have that on um, if you want to receive an email alert for it for that particular strat make sure you've named it that's very important and um, and always save any changes 
If you want to delete it, delete here, delete strategy, and again, save the changes you've made. Quite simple. So that's pretty good. Uh, what else can I tell you about the scanner? Uh, this particular is the alert for the high PI. So you're basically, you'll hear a um, thunder, sound of thunder, which means that um, any game on the scanner will, uh, will be a high PI of 70 or more. So it just sort of um, brings your attention to it. Uh, I personally have it off because it kind of does my nutting after a while. But, uh, you know, horses for courses, everyone's different. So that's about it. That's about all I can really tell you about the scanner. You've got the minutes. Uh, the next sort of videos I'll do, I'll show you um, further uh, information about the site. The new goal finder, it's all that we've added. The chat room, I'm going to show you some in-play trading, some strategies that uh, we use in the chat room and I personally use. You can see here. We got PIs that are high and uh, shows you in the last 10 minutes we've got a clever little graph of the PI so you can actually see when the um, the pressure index is in the ascendancy so possession 50% shots on target 2 shots off target 1 in the last 10 minutes that's for the home side and if you look at the away side they haven't had a shot on target, but they've had three shots off target in the last 10 minutes. So with a PI of 80, then there's a lot of action going on and um, we may well see a goal coming soon. You know, what would I personally potentially do in this, this particular game? I would possibly lay the draw. 2.5. We can have a look at the 1-1 one, one score which is uh, uh, it's very little liquidity here, so uh, that's not an option in this game. Um, PI2 is also now flashing, so uh, I would think there's a good chance of a goal coming in this particular game with half an hour to go. So that's about it. Let's say we've got a game here that's uh, actually coming up, you can see. One of the sides has a 66% um, scoring rate in the second half. So um, and the PIs are high. PI1 is high. So again, we might see a goal or two in the second half. Brilliant tool. Very popular. Um, growing even more popular. We have people from all over the world using this tool. And uh, it saves time, effort. Using this, Goal Finder, getting into the chat room, um, getting on the trades that um, some of our professionals post in the room. Simon, England's finest, Chris, Yo, we have a lot of top traders in the room and we all uh, work together and try and make each other money because that, uh, that is the name of the game. That is the bottom line, isn't it? And, uh, we will be offering a uh, a penny trial for a week access to this um, scanner. What I suggest you do, we're going to be doing that probably the middle of September. If you're interested, please drop us a line, footballscanner at gmail.com. We will then uh, make a note, note of your uh, email address and... Um, send you an email when we're ready to uh, to offer this one penny trial for a week and there's our goal in the berlin game as uh, we just mentioned and there we go the goal that we um we said looked a good shout 2-1 so uh, just a couple of examples on how to use the um, how to use the tool and over the next sort of uh, few weeks we will uh, get a few more videos done and uh, put them in the members area so i hope you've enjoyed this video and we will be back in the next couple of weeks
Cheers.